Logo is. Logo is the face of your brand. It's such a small piece of graphic, yet it does so much of heavy duty lifting for you. It is in your presentations, in your social media post, it's in your website. It's also on billboards. If you do prints, that is if you're uh, somebody who takes large printouts and put it, puts it up on billboards, it's over there as well. So it does a lot of, of work for your brand. And when a logo is done right, it can do some magical things. In today's video, you're going to learn about the 10 critical factors that you need to know before you create your logo. Even if you're outsourcing it, you must know this so that you tell the designer what you're expecting. I'm Santosh, I'm the founder of Design Clans and the vision of Design Clan is to help entrepreneurs and influencers like you learn how to build your business using the power of designs and online marketing. So if you're somebody looking for uh, growing your business using the power of designs and online marketing, then hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell notification icon so that you get more content like this whenever I release it. Over the past few years, I have created a lot of logos for multiple uh, clients and uh, I have learned this from my own experience while I was uh, creating logos. I've done some mistakes earlier and then I understood what is required to create a good logo. Okay, here is the list. Number one, clarity on your business and who your target audience is. This is uh, one of the most important factors. It's very, very important that you understand what niche your business falls into that will help you with targeting the right audience. So make sure you do that and uh, also make a profile of who your audience is going to be like their age is, is it for men or women and uh, what is their profession and how old they are. Are they young? Are they old? And the products that you are selling, is it suitable for them? Okay, so just make a list of these things on a piece of paper to get a clarity what kind of an audience would be interested in your company before you create a logo. Number two, competitor awareness. Understanding what other businesses are doing. Understanding what kind of logos do they have? What colors are they using? How big is the logo? Is it a symbol or, you know, are they using a lot of text in it? So look at uh, other successful businesses in your niche and have a look at their logo. This will give you an insight of what kind of a logo you must be doing. Number three, choosing your logo type. There are different kinds of logos that you can create depending on what business you are into. So these are some of the logo types that uh, are available. One is called uh, Lettermark Logos. These logos include letters only. It can be initials of uh, your first name and last name or whatever your, or the name of uh, your company is. Then uh, we also have Wordmark Logos. This is the entire word and these are some of the examples. Uh, these are wordmark logos. So if your company, uh, you know, if you want to have a wordmark logo, then uh, use something like this. And then we have uh, symbols or just a brand logos. This doesn't have any text. It is just a, a, a graphic, you can say, like these. These are some of the examples. You can also have a mix of you know, uh, brand marks and word marks, and you can also have brand marks and letter marks. You can mix and match. The best way to uh, get a clarity on what kind of logo type you are going to use for your brand, have a look at what other businesses in your niche are doing, your competitors or other successful businesses in your niche. Check their logos, check what kind of logos they are, whether they are word marks, letter marks, or just brand marks. This will give you a better understanding of what logo type you must have. Choosing the right uh, fonts for your logo. There are different kinds of fonts. Fonts can uh, evoke certain emotions uh, from people depending on what kind of fonts you're going to use. There are different kinds of fonts and uh, for this you need to understand a little bit about font psychology or font personality. I have been uh, 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 thinking of creating a video on that. So if I have done it, then you will find a video 
uh, on font psychology in description okay even if you don't uh, find the video there don't worry just look for it in google or in youtube just type font psychology and i am pretty sure you'll find lot of people explaining what font psychology psychology actually is okay so understand uh, this part before you choose fonts for your logos and most important whatever you do make sure your the fonts that you choose is readable and it's easy on the eye color psychology like fonts colors can bring out uh, emotions from people as well a lot of uh, brands use uh, specific colors to bring out certain emotions out of you uh, there is a video i have done on color psychology as well you'll find that video in uh, the description you can watch that and you can understand uh, a lot more about uh, color psychology if you don't find the link there you can always uh, look for it in google and youtube look for color psychology and you'll get probably a lot of videos on what color psychology is number 6 keep it simple and uh, minimal you know i love uh, minimal logo designs you know they are usually very easy on the eye and uh, looks great on any uh, marketing material that you put it into let it be your business card letter head in your social media posts or uh, even in your uh, website so keep your logo minimal let don't do too many uh things on the logo you know just keep it very clean and uh, when somebody looks at it they should be able to recognize your brand your logo should be scalable so uh, if you are creating your logo or even if you are outsourcing outsourcing it make sure you have a vector file a vector file is something which can be used to increase the size of the logo as much as you want okay so in the future if you are planning to put your logo on a billboard it needs to have a bigger size so you you will need this vector file to have a clear image of your logo if you don't have it if somebody has just uh, if you have outsourced your logo or someone else has created a logo for you and if they have given you a png or a jpeg file there is a possibility it might pixelate like this okay so don't let that happen make sure you get or you ask for the vector file whenever someone else is creating the logo for you or if you are creating it make sure you get the vector file yourself vector file formats are usually svg and if you are using illustrator it will be in ai ai uh, formats one of the most important part be aware of the printing cost so be conscious of what colors you use how big your logo is going to be and uh, uh how uh, big your fonts are going to be because if you are going to print it on a big billboard there is a possibility that it's going to cost you certain colors are very expensive like metallic colors like gold bronze and there are certain colors which are not available in uh, these uh, regular uh, printing machines you know so it's better you check with the person who usually prints business cards and uh, letter heads for you uh, to understand whether this color exist okay check with your local print shop they'll be able to tell you whether this color whether they'll be able to print material for you with these uh, brand colors that you have selected this is another thing this is a personal choice uh, of mine i don't use a uh, tag lines in my logo i'll use i use it in my marketing but not as part of the logo what can happen is if i'm using that logo on a website or on social media post there is a possibility the tag line may not be visible so uh, avoid doing it unless it's absolutely required i would suggest you not to do it use it only in your marketing and last one get some feedback whatever however your logo looks like show it to your friends show it to uh, people in your family and get some feedbacks don't worry about uh, negative feedback or anything like that okay don't worry the idea of getting feedbacks from multiple uh, people is to get different perspectives on how the logo is this will give you an understanding of whether it will actually work on your target audience so uh, whatever the majority is going to be go with that okay and that is going to help you create a great logo so uh, let me know what you think about these 10 uh, critical factors uh, i hope you got a lot of value out of this video if you did and if you want me to create more content like this then please hit the subscribe button and uh, ring the bell notification icon so whenever there is a new content i upload uh, you will be in that queue where you will be uh, notified i would love to know what are your thoughts on this video all right so use the comments area and uh, let me know about it 
and also don't forget to check the description uh, area i have a lot of useful things uh, over there for you okay all right then that's about it for today this is santosh and uh, thank you for watching have a good day